see from here, from this vantage point, uh, what's happened to the landscape. Now it's been allowed to revert back to nature. The short horn cattle keep it um, you know, moderately well tended, but extensive brown balls, which would be great for nesting birds. And listen to that nightingale. That's what I came here for. Well, to see the, the estate and see how things have changed here to enable birds like the nightingale to, to do so well. Um, seems they're a, they're a woodland edge species, uh, not a woodland species. So mostly we just don't have the habitat for them. Uh, woodlands are isolated amongst the field, fields of arable or pasture with no actual woodland edge. But here we have woodland edge uh, with expanding hedgerows and also the um, the brambles spreading in the fields uh, it's just a lot of woodland edge habitat and they obviously like it amazing. Feeling quite emotional. Never heard a nightingale before. Didn't really expect to ever hear one. And now to see how relatively simple it is to bring them back to, to their old haunts. Uh, we just really need to start doing this. It's in the tree above my head. I can't see it. I don't care. somewhere up there. Just a little brown bird. Uh, well, not that little, but I believe they're about, I don't know, the size of a blackbird or something. Uh, same family, thrush family. But, you know, blackbirds are common still. Uh, Song thrushes less so, missile thrushes, you know, less so than blackbirds probably. Nightingales, very rare. They're only found in the south of the UK. Uh, certainly don't have any in Wales as far as I'm aware. This is just gorgeous. Once upon a time, nightingales apparently sang in Berkeley Square, according to the song, um, which is in London, I believe. 
but uh, not now. But this is just, um, I don't know, hour, hour and a half outside London. And you can hear these beautiful birds. If I can get to hear turtle dove as well, that'll make the trip worthwhile. cuckoo in the distance. I mean that's that's just nice on its own. Hardly ever hear cuckoos these days. They just their insect prey is just not there. Um, so they're disappearing. You still find them in some areas but you know, not as many as they used to be. Same as everything else. All our wildlife's declining. Um, and some of it very rapidly. We really need to do something, and do something soon. Um, it's just, it's just a real shame what we're doing. We're just destroying everything, and look how easy it is to start bringing things back. Yes, maybe we now need to take um, land out of production and put areas aside and just let it go. You know, this is this is the eye opener that we don't just have to focus on those special areas of special habitats that um, you know that have been protected for, for years. Um, we can just take a field and leave it to nature. Uh, maybe have some you know free range cattle. Uh, if there's a big enough area, um, but just just let it go. And you know this just reaffirms what I've often said that brambles are such a valuable plant uh, for all sorts of species, safe nesting sites for birds, um, great flowers for the insects and the berries as well, of course. Um, yeah, so. to uh, let the nightingale have the last word for the moment. I can hear some people coming. The world's starting to wake up.